the question I would ask that I think puts a sharp edge on it is why would it be that democratic societies of long standing like France and the United States have always had the capacity to solve these enormously hard problems um, and suddenly fail now? Okay, Bernard, that's an interesting question. Why, why is it different now? I think you are under, underestimating the capacity of any regime, including, including democracy, to die. Regimes can die. This is what all the ancient authors, inv inventors of the idea of democracy proved. The Greek Polybes said exactly, he designed the mechanism according to which a regime could corrupt, decline, and die. So it is not because it did not happen in 1880 or in 1920 that it cannot happen today. Democracy can die. Number one. Do you believe in the antibodies? Why, why, it, okay, happen, why, why it happens? Why it happens today? Why now? it happens today? Because there is beyond the political parties, beyond the case of Trump or whoever, there is a climate, a, a, a sort of air which is not favorable to democracy. For example, the internet. The, uh, the social networks. Uh, this way, it, it started with a good, with a democratic belief. Anyone has a right to express its op his opinion. This is democracy. But it ended in an undemocratic belief. Each opinion equals the other one. Every opinion expressed have the same value. This is a single example, very simple, where you see how a real democratic uh, anger, pretension, uh, 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 um, desire turns into its contrary. Today, you are back to the worst regime what, uh, which the Greeks called the, la sophistique, where every opinion equals the other.